Good afternoon, Recon here with Tech Out. Today I wanted to do my 24 hour, or my, sorry, my 48 hour, my weekend review of the Galaxy S10. Um, I used this phone all weekend. I picked it up on Friday on launch day. Today is Tuesday, um, I, but I'm calling it a 48 hour, you know, weekend with the Galaxy S10 because Monday and Tuesday have been work days, so I haven't gotten much usage with it. Um, as you can see, it's 3 in the afternoon, I'm 81% battery, so I haven't used it all that much. But this weekend I did spend a lot of time with it and I just wanted to go over some of the things that I like, I dislike, um, and some major differences that I noticed just with you know spending the weekend and the first impressions and stuff like that. Number one being the big talk of it is the fingerprint sensor, the in-display fingerprint sensor. Um, I like it. It's not as reliable as Face ID or an actual fingerprint sensor on the back of the phone or the front of the phone, wherever it may be. But I do think that it has its pros and cons, um, so I'm not going to say I dislike it. I definitely like it, um, but like I said, it's still it's newer technology that's still being developed. So like with anything, there are a few issues, um, and a lot of them have been ironed out in software updates. They did release a software update on Friday, um, and the fingerprint sensor does seem a lot more reliable than it did when I first unboxed it. So that is good. Another thing is you can't use a lot of screen protectors with the phone. It does come with one pre-installed, which is plastic. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but right down here in the bottom it is scratching a little bit, which isn't a big deal because like I said, it is a screen protector, so it's not the actual screen that's scratching. Um, so I'm glad that I left that on. I don't know how I got that scratched um, or where it came from. It looks like probably my keys in my pocket or something like that, which is definitely expected. Um, the screen is excellent. I use it at about half, maybe 60% brightness, um, and it's plenty bright, plenty, plenty clear. Um, these OLED panels, I think the brighter you make them, the, the better they look. Uh, but I kind of put it in the middle to get better battery life, but also with the better display. I do run mine at the full um, WQHD, the 3040 by 1440. Um, it comes out of the box on full HD, which is the 2880 by, 18, uh, by 1080. Battery life has been great. Um, I've been able to get about five to five and a half hours of screen on time. That depends on how much I'm using the phone. If it's constant usage, I get a higher um, screen on time because there's less standby time. So with constant usage, I get about five to five and a half hours. Um, with here and there usage, I'll get about three and a half to four. Um, so definitely great battery life, no issues there. It does last me all day without a problem. The S10 is probably uh, the S10 Plus is probably a little bit better because of the bigger battery, but it also has a bigger screen that it has to power as well. Right now I'm using the Spec um, Candy, not the Candy Shell Grip, the Spec Presidio Glossy Grip. Um, loving this case. My favorite case so far has probably got to be the um, OtterBox Defender Pro. I just like the way that case feels on this phone. Um, using the phone stock without a case is definitely very nice as well. But with any glass back phone, you're definitely going to want to use a case. Um, speed and stuff like that, excellent. 8 gigs of RAM is definitely the it's going to be the new standard um, and it's definitely a lot of RAM and the, pretty much I would say the perfect amount. The phone runs beautifully well. Um, One UI is definitely better than any of the previous Samsung um, skins that they put over it like Samsung Experience and uh, TouchWiz and stuff like that if you remember those on the older phones. One UI is definitely a lot better, more reliable. Um, not, not more reliable, the other ones were reliable but they had their issues with stuttering and stuff like that. Just People didn't really like them. One UI, I have seen a lot of people um, just loving it. It runs very smooth. Opening apps is very fluent. Um, no, no lag or anything like that. Apps don't have to constantly reload with the 8 gigs of RAM. So a wonderful, wonderful phone, no doubt about that. If you're looking at the S10, I would definitely look at picking one up, the S10 or the S10 Plus. I don't really like the S10e because of the way the fingerprint sensor is on the power button and the power button's way towards the top. Um, I would rather just spend a little extra money and get the S10. You get a little bit more RAM. Um, you go from 6 gigs to 8 gigs, which definitely helps. If you go all the way up to the S10 Plus with 512 gigabytes of storage, you can get the ceramic back with the 12 gigabytes of RAM, which is definitely probably overkill, but at the same time, probably really awesome as well. The camera cutout does not bother me at all. Um, I actually like it being up there. It's out of the way. Really, this just scooted over a little bit. I have it turned on, so I only get three notification icons at one time. So really, it's not using any space. Um, if I if I open an app, it really like the status bar. It doesn't really use any much use much more space than the status bar originally would have. So it's not taking much space away from 
um, from apps or anything like that. If we go to like Amazon, you can see the cutout is it's built in well, especially the newer apps that are updated for, for phones like this. You definitely don't have a bad experience at all. So that is basically my weekend with the Samsung Galaxy S10. Loving the phone. I'm coming from an iPhone XS Max, um, and this definitely is my new favorite phone right now. Um, I don't know when I'll go back to the iPhone XS Max. I probably will. I'm not going to get rid of it or anything like that. But the Galaxy S10 uh, is definitely my new daily driver as of right now. This has been Colin with Tech Out. If you have any, if you have any questions about the um, about the phone or my experience with it, please drop it down in the comments section below. I do check my comments often. I do have the YouTube Studio app, so I do respond pretty much instantly if I'm not doing anything, and I'll get right back to you. This has been Colin with Tech Out. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.